Once again, we're back on Nikmoon Sojki TikTok train of an thought with a series of an episode with an iron lady of an India Gita Potwa. Um, and welcome back to TikTok Nikmoon Sojki. It's a real interesting, interesting journey, right? From childhood, you have taken care of your study. You were uh, independent. You would, uh, in fact, you never seek anybody's help in terms of an valuation or. and also like uh, while working with an corporate level uh, from an uh, junior clerk uh, going to the international level for an audit what made you to get uh, taken voluntary retirement after working for 22 years in public sector <laughs> so this is a question uh, i am asked by everyone and uh, all the time mm-hmm. it's now 2014 i took retirement uh, so almost now 8 uh, years are over mm-hmm. i still get asked this question that mm-hmm. why did you do that mm-hmm. okay now everyone who asks me this question is actually not asking me why you left government job mm-hmm. it's actually why you left the comfort of comfort of that public yes, sector yes yeah. yes that yeah. that that everyone considers government job as a very comfortable mm-hmm. job ab jao nobody removes you for not working yeah. i have seen people all kinds of people in my you department there, yeah. uh, i ha- in fact in fact in fact we are talking about my retirement over here uh, before i took retirement one person in our organization took retirement because of me and mm-hmm. the reason is that i asked him that he was not he was not putting in work saying that abhi i have two more years for retiring nice. on superannuation 60 mm-hmm. years so waiting for that ha so he's wait, he's already started uh, waiting for that two years before mm-hmm. so i told that you have still two years and mm-hmm. you have to work there's no choice and you're working in my section mm-hmm. you have to work mm-hmm. now the pressure of having to work mm-hmm. and the person did not have any financial challenges very comfortable everything is okay why do you stash the job of another person mm-hmm. if you don't want to put in take retirement and go okay, okay. why do you have to waste government mm-hmm. money mm-hmm. so uh, because i made him work in mm-hmm. spite of uh, only having two years mm-hmm. he took retirement and went okay, okay so that is why i used to be called hitler in the office nice. okay so uh, now coming to my retirement See when I joined government job in 92 like I said that it was not my choice mm-hmm. it was my mom who put me into who said who got me into the government job but of course I'm extremely thankful to her because uh, I my experience of the government department got it, got it. and also um, the pension that I get now is mm-hmm. uh, helping me in surviving uh, mm-hmm. as on date so um, I was very clear right from the day I joined government service that mm-hmm. I am not going to stay back in the department till I am 60 years and for me 60 years was like are tab to hard pao nothing is going to work Correct. and I'll be like you know a typical redundant like we are redundant and no use and uh, if uh, there was so much of dreams inside me mm-hmm. I, if you ask me what dreams I may not know that mm-hmm. but I wanted to do something else Correct. so I said that I will live I will only work till 20 years in the government department mm-hmm. and the rest of the life will be work as per what I want to what do. You want. I want to do what makes me happy. Mm-hmm. I want to do what I really am meant to do. Mm-hmm. So that was I was very clear. Mm-hmm. Not one person in my department believed that I will take voluntary retirement because mm-hmm. they always considered me as a very ambitious woman. Mm-hmm. So when I put up my papers mm-hmm. uh, for voluntary retirement, every one entire department was shocked. Mm-hmm. Said no, ye, it, she can't go like this. Mm-hmm. But uh, I did because I was very clear. I did not want to continue till 60 years in the government department. Mm-hmm. I wanted to. I, I was taking a leap of faith. Mm-hmm. I knew that I'm getting out of the comfort of a government job mm-hmm. of getting that fixed salary, a salary which was increasing today. They are paid very handsomely. Seventh pay which. Oh, oh, oh God! I mean, like. let it go so uh, so the point is that there is so as far as the salary is concerned it's a comfort zone mm-hmm. okay but i did not want i'm not that i mm-hmm. wanted to live for myself mm-hmm. i wanted to live for my my purpose my mm-hmm. job i did not know what was purpose mm-hmm. i wanted to do something i did not know what mm-hmm. i took that leap of faith i left but for being in uh, for 22 years being part of a public sector aapke kuch hobbies thi us hobbies ko apne nikhara kuch to keep yourself more energetic okay so when i was in the government department i was also anchoring 
So, uh, and now anchoring again happened by accident because mm-hmm. I'm very active on face, uh, Facebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have over 5,000 followers in uh, Facebook, mm-hmm. and uh, because of that, uh, one te- TV channel, uh, mm-hmm. South Indian TV channel, was shooting at a particular place where I was also attending that function. Mm-hmm. So they saw me, and uh, I'm very active on social media because of that. People used to recognize me. Mm-hmm. So they came up to me and said that, "Would you like to? So would you like to be a part of our channel?" Mm-hmm. I said, uh, "Okay." Now I have never learned to say no. Yeah. I said, "Okay." Opportunity, opportunity knocking the door, say correct, yes. Correct. Baad mein ke, kaise correct, so correct. I said yes first, and then they said, "Okay, you can come over for audition." Mm-hmm. I went for audition. It was no audition. Mm-hmm. It was straight away shoot for a show. So yeah. I, I, that was my first anchoring I as far as uh, show is concerned. That was for television. I hosted a television uh, show for one year, mm-hmm. and after that one year was over. Uh, during that period itself, I was asked to host a lot of events mm-hmm. uh, like uh, literary festivals and uh, uh, and uh, entertainment events, corporate events, etc. Mm-hmm. So that is a passion that mm-hmm. I continued uh, right. even after my retirement. Is okay, concerned. and I think uh, while doing your research, we've also gone through. I think we're going to show some snapshot uh, for our target audience. a uh, singing samuel like you know, so we just watch that it's very interesting like uh secondly like as uh, said by apg kalam like you know dream is not that uh, uh, you see in uh, in a sleep like dream is something that doesn't let you sleep uh, now which is that thing which doesn't let uh, geeta football sleep like uh, sir till date i am not sleeping uh, yes. in spite of having done so much also uh, i'm not sleeping even now now um, i if you ask me what is that dream i don't know mm-hmm. because i live for the moment mm-hmm. and uh, i uh, do things as as things come to me mm-hmm. i i i am there where i am needed and i mm-hmm. believe that there is this universal uh, strength and mm-hmm. universal energy mm-hmm. that guides you Mm-hmm. and how it guides you it brings opportunities to you mm-hmm. now when an opportunity comes to you it is up to you whether you say yes or whether you say no mm-hmm. now that opportunity when it comes you won't even know that what it can lead to mm-hmm. my case i am a person who takes risks mm-hmm. the fact that i left government department mm-hmm. uh, when nobody would even dream of mm-hmm. it is actually a big risk that i took in my Correct. life Correct. uh i take risks mm-hmm. i uh, take up challenge i love taking challenges mm-hmm. because only when you take challenges you know what you are made of what mm-hmm. kind of a person you are mm-hmm. uh, it is a it is a process of self discovery mm-hmm. so actually uh, I uh, I I keep following my instinct and mm. uh, take a bold decision. Take take a bold decision. Many times it so happen like you know at the initial stage of a career you talk in terms of what is the purpose, what you're going to do, what you're going to achieve. Uh, were you still uh, looking for the purpose at this point of in time? Yes, when I was uh, in a government department and mm. when I left it, uh, I did not know what to do mm-hmm. for exactly one month. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed what is retired life. Yeah. I was like every day morning when I used to get up. No, I don't have to go to office. Mm-hmm. I can afford to sleep a little longer. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like I said, it was not for long. Mm-hmm. Exactly one month later, opportunities started knocking at my mm-hmm. door. Mm-hmm. I took them up, and uh, my journey, a new journey uh, of my life started. Okay. So purpose. No, I did not know what my what my purpose was. Okay, still you're searching for for purpose. So itself. even till no, actually now uh, yes, I am uh, involved with differently abled, and right. uh, that has become the mission of my life. Mission of that has become the mission of my life. That has become the now. I feel that uh, yes, this is what I was meant to do all my mm-hmm. life, and uh, I feel a sense of contentment. But yes, there is this restlessness inside to that I want more. to do more. More. I want to do more. There are okay. so many out there who need me. Correct. Uh, I don't. I don't like people. Uh, being sad or struggling mm-hmm. i want to be there because right. somewhere in my life i may have gone through that same challenge that they mm-hmm. have gone through mm-hmm. and i want to be there for them i right. want to see to it that there's as much happiness as right. possible in right. the world right. uh, now in fact uh, you have hosted more than uh, 500 events uh, within and outside india ranging from uh, like literary festival let be yes. corporate culture and uh, corporate film tv shows and all How you got this? All those uh, offers back to back, like you uh-huh. know. Yeah. So. Uh, Many times we get excited. A like, offer mila to I think that <laughs> life is done, like. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. आपको back to back uh, host करने का मौका मिला और कैसा मिला? 
सी आई लाइक आई सेट दैट अपॉर्चुनिटीज हमारे आस पास घूमती रहती है देर इज ऑलवेज दैट इज वन थिंग विच आई वॉन्ट टू टेल ऑल दोज हु आर वॉचिंग दिस दैट अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर ऑलवेज मूविंग ऑल अराउंड अस इट इज ओनली अबाउट रिकग्नाइजिंग दैम एंड टेकिंग इट अप द मोमेंट वी थिंक अरे ये मुझसे नहीं हो सकता या दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल देन गॉड दैट दैट डोर गेट्स क्लोज देन देर आर दैट वन थिंग इज क्लोज नाउ द अदर अपॉर्चुनिटी डोर्स आर ओपन अरे ये मुझसे नहीं हो सकता दैट क्लोज लाइक दैट डोर्स कीप क्लोजिंग इन माई केस आई दे आई वॉज नॉट ट्रेंड इन एंकरिंग बट वन थिंग इज दैट आई स्पीक फ्रॉम माई हार्ट एंड वेन आई फेस लाइक आई नो वन डे आई वॉज सो सच ए शाई पर्सन लॉन्ग बैक when i used to get on the stage my legs used to shiver so badly mm-hmm. that the stage ka awaaz was used to come mm-hmm. you know the sound used to come mm-hmm. but i molded myself into a person who is very bold and can talk in front of anyone on this earth mm-hmm. now when you host a show uh, people come to know what kind of a host you are mm-hmm. so they start approaching you mm-hmm. and uh, like this word of mouth mm-hmm. i never advertised any, uh, anything mm-hmm. i did not have the money to uh, create a pr out of it mm-hmm. i just went on doing it mm-hmm. so whatever opportunity came i took up that opportunity i did it mm-hmm. and the word went to abu dhabi so in abu dhabi there was a three day india carnival that was being hosted mm-hmm. and i got a call saying that we could want you to host it oh, that was my first international hosting show hosting show as well after that i came to know that there is this arijit singh show that is going to happen in uh, abu dhabi mm-hmm. i hosted that I then i got an opportunity to host in bahrain mm-hmm. so when you do your a good work one links to another one if you do good Mm-hmm. just put in your 100 like again i am repeating so mm-hmm. i'll keep on repeating this that if you give your 100% mm-hmm. there is someone noticing it i there think it's an excellent great insights and i'm sure like a fearless person fearless woman or uh, taking an initiative and looking terms of an opportunity now one more snapshot what we are going to see about a movie review it's very interesting uh, by geeta podwal so we'll just show this snapshot for our target audience Uh, I think it was a great insight what we had by uh, after 22 years working with the public sector sector she took a voluntary retirement for a larger purpose in her life she got into being an anchor more than 500 uh, events what she had uh, uh, she had been an anchor and also in terms of an uh, recent clips what you have uh, seen in terms of a movie review which is there uh, i'm sure that's only a tough lady and iron lady of an india with a strong mindset and a larger purpose can do i'm sure it's a very interesting insight uh, what inspiration to what a tita audience uh, they are getting out of from uh, geeta potwal story and uh, i'm sure in next episode episode we are going to catch up with geeta potwal on understanding how she got into an tv serial as an assistant commissioner of a uh, police playing that particular role till then stay tuned to www.ttalk.net uh, like the channel as much as can, as you can and also follow geeta podwal on ttalk exclusive story on ttalk ek bon soch ki an i lady of an india thank you very much thanks ma'am for your thank presence you so on much. this uh, ttalk show